There is no easy way to success in football, but Youth Academy is definitely one of the worst rebuilds and the hardest to do. So I've embarked on this challenge with the help of some kids from Africa to see if I can take Forest Green to the Premier League. Season number 10 begins, guys. Looking at the team, I've got decent players. 81 rated Mensa up top. He's getting the goals, but of course, I'm going to have to send more scouts to Africa, Cameroon, Nigeria and South Africa. The three countries I'm going for this time around in season number 10. First game of the season against Peterborough at Town Park. Hopefully we can go on and get three points in the opening day of the season. We probably do so this time around with the fans really behind the manager. Here's a chance, David Craig controls, ooh, I thought that's going to go in and a couple of chances missed, game ended nil-nil, Stoke City at the Stoke City Football Stadium, Tony Pulis is in there, Rory Dilap is in there, but Stoke City is still one of the toughest teams in the league, let's hope we can take on this challenge and take three points at the Stoke City Stadium, here's John, number seven, he needs support, no he doesn't! He walks it in, past the goalkeeper, beats him in his near post. I think the keeper should have done better there, but early goal for Forest Green Rovers. It is 1-0. Here's a chance for Agiang. Oh, disappointing from Stoke City. I thought they are one of the best teams in the league. They're defending like jokers. It is 2-0, and we managed to win the game. Also beat Luton Town months later and draw against Sunderland at, at uh, the Black Cat Stadium. It was tough, but at the halfway point, we are ever so close to the Premier League promotion. Hopefully, this is the season we can get it. Six behind Burnley and highest scored player in the team in the roster is 82 rated Mensa. Mensa, another Mensa just behind him by two points. And the worst player, of course, 63 Sorry, in the Youth Academy, the best player is 63 rated. Promoting him to the senior team is the best thing I can do for him so far this season. Forest Green Rovers going to challenge a team that has not been beaten this season so far. 200 career wins it could be for Forest Green. Oh, if they beat Coventry, but no, what a chance. Oh, they put it in. It is Coventry City. We take an early lead. I told you this is not going to be hard. easy. It's definitely not easy here. Here's a chance for Mensa. Great control. Oh, what a finish. Travella past the goalkeeper into the top corner. Red keeper, definitely no chance there. It is all square going to half time. It is 1 1. Here's a chance. John. Oh, great turn. What a finish. Coventry City on an unbeaten run, 16 games is probably coming to an end in the hands of Forest Green Rovers. We fast forward the rest of the season guys and let's hope we have managed to survive, well actually not survive, get into the promotion places and try getting into the Premier League this season. Hopefully this is the season. But guys, season ended, we finished three points behind Burnley, uh, we are ever so close, Coventry City finishing 83, West Bromwich Albion Centurions with 102 points on the board, FA Cup going to City beating Forest, uh, Nottingham Forest that is, and Leicester City beat Manchester City to the Carabao Cup final. And we were beaten by Mansfield in the round two of the Carabao Cup final. Coventry City made it to the Premier League. I told you they are a tough bunch this season. And the Youth Academy guys, a final look before the new season begins. We are not promoting any player from this Youth Academy team because... They are simply not good enough. Season number 11 begins, guys. Let's hope this season we can finally get into the Premier League. And guess what, guys? That's exactly what we have done. We've, we are one step into the Premier League, I should say, as we made it to the prim play of promotion places against Sunderland. And this is going to be absolutely brilliant. It is the final. Let's hope we can beat the Black Cats and make it to the Premier League. 
once and for all. Forest Green Rovers from the worst team could be one of the best in the near future. Ball over the top, Kofi to control it. Oh, the left back making his stride through. Passes on to Mensa. Chance for John. It is 1 0 at the stroke of half time at Wembley. Massive roll from Forest Green Rovers. You can say it, guys. John has put Forest Green Rovers a goal to the gut against the Black Cats. And we are one step into the Premier League for sure now. Here's a Baya. Is he going to do it? Oh, he digs it over the keeper in style. We're going to the Premier League now in style. The number 16 puts us into the Premier League. Well, I should say bring off into the Premier League. And here's a chance for Apaya. Uh, looking for the pass. John passes it wide. Oh, Mensa! It is 3-0 at the stroke of full time. Mensa makes it 3 to 4 the Screen Rovers. And Black Cats are finally slaughtered, guys, at Wembley. And we are making it to the Premier League. Full time, 3 0 to throw for the Screen Rovers. It has been a long 10 season run, guys. Finally, we are into the Premier League. And a massive thank you for watching. Do subscribe to my channel. We are going to the Premier League. Before that, let's watch this trophy lifting ceremony. I do like these type of videos, guys. If you are liking it, do subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Do continue to watch. Stay tuned to my channel. More to come. But here's 26 goal contribution by Mensa Seca with 14 goals contribution. Nine from Apaya. I thought he's good. he had a stink in this season. But nevertheless, we are going up. So we are going up. 86 rated Mensas, two Mensas are 86, the rest are just 77, that is not an improvement as a team apart from the two players. Season number 12 guys, we are into the Premier League, say we are into the Premier League, Forest Green Rovers amongst the big dogs in English football with the likes of Manchester United and Chelsea and this team has to improve in order to survive. At the moment, they are going straight back down to Division 2 or 3 or maybe 4. Board has told us, guys, we had a meeting with the board saying, if you don't get into the, if you don't survive the Premier League drop, you're going back down with the Youth Academy. Looking like this, guys, I really think I might be going down straight away after just a stinker of a season in the Premier League. But nevertheless, we are going to give our best shot this season and let's hope we do stay in the Premier League and uh, this is the table of course no games have been played it looks tough for Forest Green Rovers and an, unu an unusual guest from League 2 we are going to have 50 million from the board the Premier League money has kicked in first game it is at the Goodison in Merseyside it is not going to be easy Although Everton have been struggling in recent times, let's hope we take something. But oh, here's Valenzuela. Oh, a cheeky finish, isn't it? From the Colombian, puts Everton a goal to the good in the first 15 minutes against Forest Green Rovers. It is good as some park that's roaring for Everton. Here's uh, a sniff. Could we score? Could we score? Yes, Mensa's put it in. It is 1-1, all square with 20 minutes, little less than 20 minutes remaining. Mensa put Forty Screen back into the game and at full time, massive silence from the, the Goodison faithful. It is 1-1 against Forest Green. We do continue to play in the Premier League, Crystal Palace it is. It is at home, let's hope we take something out of it. Or at least three points would be fantastic. Is Makoko, no! You can't get this guy a chin sniff. And he puts it in on the hour mark. Crystal Palace have taken the lead. Oh, not the best of stars in the Premier League. Life in the Premier League is tough. And a defeat to Roy Hodgson's team is obviously tough. We are bottom at Christmas. And that just to confirm, we had another board meeting. The board are not willing to put me on in this job if we not survive. And guess what, guys? We are gone back down to the championship. 
Three wins only throughout the season. Arsenal winning the FA Cup. We were beaten by QPR in round three. Carabao Cup goes to Newcastle. We were beaten by the champions. No shame in that. Leverkusen winning the Super Cup and the Champions League. Europa League going to Valencia beating Brentford and Sevilla winning yet another European trophy. And that's it for the series, guys. It has been absolutely pleasure. pleasure. At times really hard in this youth academy rebuild but nevertheless guys thanks for watching do subscribe to my channel have a good night